You might not know it, but a Canadian invented both the telephone and the radio. This week in Edmonton, Canadians are hoping their inventions are the next great idea as they look to improve the future. What I would really like it to be is um, a treatment that patients can um, have access to readily that isn't going to result in a lot of side effects um, and can be used in a, as an alternative to conventional cancer treatments. From medical breakthroughs to science. So my project this year is about electrolysis of water. So splitting water by running electricity through it and this splits the water into its hydrogen and oxygen. The fair boasts hundreds of inventions created by students and features an appearance from every province and territory. The ages of the students ranging from 12 to 17 years old. I found out that there's just a scarcity of hydrogen and uh, hydrogen plants to produce the hydrogen. So I thought, set out to fix that by producing hydrogen at home. The executive director of Youth Science Canada says the fair is growing year to year. And this year, many students have adapted AI technology into their research. We're using it to analyze images and data and uh, get at uh, information that previously was, that was kind of inaccessible. But it's not just Canadians. The champions from Thailand and Mexico have also featured in this year's edition, proving that collaboration is the best for science. The top projects are at the master's degree level and, uh, and some of them are just extraordinary in terms of the creativity, the, uh, the curiosity, the ingenuity that's represented there. But for these young students, they are just proud of the research they have accomplished and hope to one day become the next great Canadian inventor. Our future is in good hands when we see these bright young students just showcasing their research. From Edmonton, Adam Zicarelli, City News.